I have one of the batteries sitting here on this stack of pallets, and I'm gonna show you how I rewire this. I don't use the existing BMS that's in here. I don't know how to write a program to use it. So I'll just have the voltage sense wires that go from each cell and come right out this Molex connector that's on the front. Now I have no idea uh, what this does, doesn't do, the communication protocol, anything like that, but it would attach there. Well, all these red wires are sensing voltage. The black wires, I have no idea what they sense. They go over here, through, and then they attach to this uh, board, and I've been going to pull that off so that we can look at it. Now the board comes over and it has these small traces and the front traces that we can see, they are picking up voltage from the battery tabs. What I'd like to do is use these red wires that are on here and pull the red ones uh, onto this plug here by cutting off both of these white uh, plugs and then just soldering the wires together. That way I can sense all the voltage from the front and hook it up to my BMS and balancer. Just to take off the front cover, you don't have to undo this Moltlex connector, but I'm gonna need to anyways for what I'm doing, so I might as well get it out now. And inside, you can actually see that there's a BMS here. Usually this is screwed in place, so maybe the screw that was holding this came off at some point. I have not opened this battery, so. This Molex connector you just push through, because I already took out the screws, and I can get it off of this piece of plastic there. And now the front cover comes off with the fan. This is a 24 volt DC fan, and man, it sounds like a jet engine taking off. Uh, what's interesting is the, the fan was never powered by the battery off the BMS, it was powered by something else external. Here's the BMS with this little wiring harness attached to it. So this BMS just is gonna get junked. And now I have this little wiring harness. I need to get at these leads so I can solder them. So I'm gonna cut away some of this. Just gotta be careful not to cut through the wires themselves. There we go. So now I've taken off the plastic cover and exposed the wires. Now before I mess around with any of this, I'm gonna disconnect it from the cells so I don't short anything out. I have a hard time getting it out of there. So I'm gonna use a couple of screwdrivers to help me. There. See, loose, so now I'm not gonna short anything out. And there's one more identical one on the other side. On the very first battery I ever did, I didn't know which wire led to which cell, positive, negative, whatever. So I made myself a little map here and that's looking at the back side because that's where I'm gonna be cutting it. Uh, so a little opposite, usually you would map it based on the front. So I know which um, orientation all these wires go. And this is what I want the new plug to look like. So this is the white plug, the bottom, and the top plug here. The first two wires on the left go to the fan, and the other eight wires on this Molex connector are gonna go to the voltage sense. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and strip all eight of these wires, which are like 22 gauge wires. So the very first wire that I'm gonna do, I label as number one. And so it's actually this one over here, the main positive of the whole pack, I label as number one. From the back side, that's gonna be the top left wire. I strip back a little bit of the plastic wire loam to give myself a little bit more room. Now this number one wire, I call it number one, uh, it needs to go to what I'm gonna call the number one pin on here. Now I don't know exactly which wire that is. I happen to know that it's one of the red ones, but I don't know which of the red ones. So that's where we're gonna use this uh, continuity 
checker. So looking from the front, I know that it's going to be the second pin in on the top is what I want. So this is the one. I knew it was one of the red ones. So slip this uh, heat shrink tubing on there. And then I can, I'm going to just add a little bit of this flux. And now I have to twist these wires together. And I'm not very good at this tight little stuff. Right now I'm actually, and then I dress it down a little bit and I make a nice little tight bundle there. Now I'm taking my soldering iron, which is hot, because it's been sitting there waiting for me to get it done. Now I can put the heat shrink tubing on it. See, it's just a tight little solder joint now. And I throw the heat shrink tubing on. And my heat gun. And that's one. So, <laughs> seven more to go, which I call number two, which is down on the second row. So I snip it. And now I can move on to here and check with continuity for which wire. Uh, and that's the process. I do not want to snip all of these at the same time because then I'll for, uh, I won't know which wire goes to which cell. So I mapped it out on the first battery and now I'm snipping them one at a time being careful. So all the wires are done, they're attached. Uh, now what I can do is get this wire loom back on here. Before I put the cover back on, I have to reattach these connectors. There's some little plastic clips molded in here. Now I get to take my cover again. Fan. Now there's some brass threads that are inserted into the connector. Tiny screws on here. Nice and secure, the wires aren't going to go anywhere. Make sure they don't get pinched as you put the cover back on. So I'm going to check my voltage. It, what I'm calling pin number one is directly connected to the positive post, which is over here. So we're getting zero volts on pin number one. So to check pin number one, I'm actually going to go over here to the negative, and this should read the entire pack voltage, which it does, 26.5 volts. So we know we've successfully connected pin number one. So now with the positive lead attached to the positive post, I'm going to start with pin number two, and we should see 3.2, we do. And now I'll move this on to pin number three, and as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to go up by 3.2 or 3.3 volts each time in order. If we go through all of them in order, then we know we've got it correct. 19.8, pin number eight, 23.2, and then finally the negative post on the whole pack, 26.5. So everything is wired in order. <laughs> According to my map that I drew for the wires, it's, it's wired in order, which will be in a future video. Uh, we'll be making an external wiring harness and connecting all of these to a BMS. All right, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the links in the description below, including the Patreon page. That really helps out the channel.